Здравствуйте, дорогие Hello, dear друзья. friends. Today I will brag about my new DIY, the idea of which I have been nurturing for almost a year. I know that no one will copy this gadget, but perhaps someone will be interested in the technologies that I used in its manufacture. To ensure acceptable bending accuracy, I made a composite template from oak parquet strips, focusing on the internal dimensions of the gadget case. To mark up the work pieces, you can always use a printout of your drawing. When cutting blanks made of aluminum alloys, I use soap to reduce friction. Probably, this work could be done with scissors, but no wonder I made this machine from an electric jigsaw. In one of the next videos, I will talk about its modernization. Additional materials can be found in the description of the video. When using a template for bending complex shapes, the main thing is to correctly fix the workpiece before the first bend. In the future, the linear dimensions and radii of bending should be provided by the geometry of the template itself. Since the template was made of three parts, it was easy to remove from the case. To make the decorative coating of the case last longer, I smoothed out the sharp edges and rounded the edges of the case. I also drilled several holes for attaching assembly units and one large hole for the camera lens. I made this strip from a metal ruler bought at a stationery store. It will allow us to fix the rigid body of the gadget on the belt of the trousers, which has the shape of an arc. In the same store, I bought office clamps. These clamps are made of spring steel, so it is better to drill them with a carbide drill, having previously placed a strip of tin under the clamp. The clamps are attached to the spring bar with screws with a diameter of 2 mm. You should definitely fix these screw joints with paint or lock washer. I chose lock washers simply because I had them. These screws also act as fangs that cut into the fabric of the waistband of the trousers or trouser belt. And this small device already has a given bending radius. The position of the halves of this template relative to each other is ensured by steel pins. Since this brass blank had to be given a rather complex shape, I had to use improvised tools, such as tweezers and a mounting hook. I confess that I had been planning a sequence of actions for quite some time before I started this work. It is better to drill holes after bending, so that in case of an error, it is possible to introduce a correction. Of course, both soldered parts should first be carefully covered with solder. And this heat shrink tube serves mainly for decorative purposes. Using epoxy glue, I secured wooden balls to the ends of the copper wire. But first, I applied deep notches to the ends of this wire to increase the reliability of the adhesive connection. The filming rig handles were supposed to be made of black fiberglass or carbon fiber, but the price of these materials slightly changed my plans. I used yellow fiberglass, which I had. And finally, I solved the problem of glass dust with the help of two vacuum cleaners. To paste the body of the gadget, I used a thin, elastic, artificial leather, which I bought in a fabric store. It is necessary to glue such leather with a special contact shoe glue. And you should take care of the solvent for this glue if the glue turns out to be too thick. Of course, in this case, I have been planning all the steps of this process for a long time. And I think the second time I'm going to be a lot neater. I inserted all the secret screws into the metal case in advance so that the inner layer of leather would hide the caps of these same screws. And these gaskets made of porous rubber form the internal space of the case for the possibility of fixing the smartphone both with the screen inwards and with the screen outwards. 
And finally, we can glue the last flap of leather to proceed with the final assembly. These small elastic pads from the washcloth prevent the smartphone from falling out of the case while running. Two more pads made of porous rubber reserve space inside the gadget for other models of smartphones with a screen size of about 6.5 inches. Fluoroplastic washers reduce friction between filming rig handles and artificial leather. Here I used locking paint and enlarged washers for screws with a diameter of 2 mm. And this assembly unit attaches copper tripod legs to the body of the gadget, and also fixes the handles of the filming rig in the assembled position. To secure the strip with clamps, I used screws with a diameter of 2.5 mm and locking washers. And now I will talk about the functions of this gadget. The smartphone is easily fixed in the body of the gadget and at the same time retains access to all its buttons and sockets. And I hope that together with the factory cover, the gadget will provide protection against falling. In a matter of seconds, you can turn this gadget into a stand for a smartphone and set an arbitrary angle of inclination for both horizontal and vertical orientation of the screen. The gadget is securely attached to trousers or a belt and provides instant access to the phone with one hand. You can also shoot video from waist level and adjust the tilt of the camera lens vertically. And the position of the camera does not change when you sit down or get up from a chair. Similarly, you can adjust the camera's position relative to the horizon if you use a neck strap for shooting. And finally, the highlight of the program, the shooting rig. And yes, you are right, you can learn to hold the phone with your hands and not cover the lens with your finger. But that's only until you're pushed in the back or hooked on your elbow. I wish you creative success. See you on the channel.